Hey everybody, today I wanted to make a video on how to plumb uh, CO2 for your air chutes, like your air launcher chutes. Um, so I had a single white safety, large pro mod style chute on the back of this car. And uh, occasionally it wouldn't come out, uh, partially due to the fact that the bag was full of glue from the racetrack. Um, but then the other part of it was, uh, I don't think we had enough pressure to it according to white safety. So when I spoke to them, they said they wanted 200 PSI on the, the cylinders for the chutes. So let me show you what, um, what we changed. So we've got a CO2 tank set up for Motion Race Works. And then um, the regulator I, I switched to is from Preece Performance. Uh, it's P-R-E-E-C-E. -E. Uh, this thing's pretty slick. It's all billet aluminum. Came like this with a gauge and it's got two ports, right? So this is considered their non-adjustable one, but it's actually adjustable. So there's a little set screw down underneath here, and then you can just turn these dials, and you have two separate output pressures, right? So there's stickers on it, kind of hard to see, but this one says 250 PSI, and this one over here says 150 PSI. Uh, they've actually been adjusted to 200 and 100, but the 100 PSI port is feeding the shifter, uh, also from Motion Raceworks, and um, it's feeding the uh, the chute handle, which is actually also from Motion Raceworks, um, and uh, and then it's also feeding the CO2 solenoids from Holly, which are underneath the dash. Um, they're up underneath here, and then it's going out to the uh, to the waste gates for boost control. But in the back, we're sending 200 psi to the uh, to the two chutes, right? So, um, white safety was great. They had answered a lot of questions for me, um, gave me a lot of good information, and uh, spec'd out these two shoots. The car goes right around 220-ish in the quarter. Uh, anything over 200, you're supposed to have two shoots, which was news to me until about a couple weeks ago. I didn't realize it. I don't know. I don't read the NHRA rule books. But uh, so we're going to two shoots. Car weighs like 3,300 pounds and goes 220. So they spec the shoots out for me the way that uh, they said would be ideal. Uh, Matt, at, Matt and Brandon at Performance Fab just uh, built this for me, which is um, the dual shoot holder. So it's a kit from, I think, Hammer Fab, um, but uh, it's, it's pretty sweet. It's got, you know, it's already broke here. It's all bolts together. And then the, the bolts come in from the inside to the support. And then they fabbed up this, the bars and whatnot, so that it didn't triangulate it at all to go to this plate that bolts up to where the stock license plate went. And then um, they built some supports down here and it welds to the tube here for a support. And then that tube goes down in, into the chassis and that's what the, the chutes actually pull on. Then they made me a, uh, uh, you know, another like little mount here for my license plate. Um, so that uh, when we're driving on the road, we got a license plate. Uh, that hammer kit comes with this little, these little mounts, like these little cable clamps. But I will say that they were a little bit big for the cable. So what we did is we took a piece of three eighths um, air tubing and uh, push lock tubing, split it down the middle, wrapped it around, and then clamped it inside. And now it's nice and tight. Uh, so anyway, back to the CO2 plumbing. The CO2 coming back here is at 200 psi, right? So it comes up here to this T. It comes out and goes to each one of these air valves. So you've got an inlet to the air valve and then an outlet from here to the back of this cylinder. So this is where they told me that they needed 200 PSI, okay? So um, instead of the 100 PSI that we were feeding it. So I'm gonna put the, the lock pin on uh, one of these chutes here. We'll do this one here. And we're going to hit this other chute with 200 PSI. So I'm gonna turn the bottle on here quick. So now right now the chute's not charged, right? Now if we, so these air valves are what charges the chute, right? So I've never launched these before, so I don't know what's gonna happen, but when you turn this air valve on, you'll see the chute's now charged, right? So just pressurized up. So what we're doing is we're applying 200 PSI to this cylinder and it's loaded. So now when you pull the chute handle uh, or have the ECU pull it or whatever, 
this is going to pull out and then launch the chute. So again, I don't know how hard it's going to launch it, but um, Laura's videoing and hopefully she doesn't jump or do anything stupid. I'll probably uh, jump. This one is obviously it's got the safety pin in. So this is going to pull this cable out, but not actually deploy the chute because the safety pins in and it's not charged. So if you can look from the top, you can see the difference in the way this, this bag's charged. This one isn't. Um, we're going to do something pretty cool with that car over there, which is about the nicest car I've ever seen in my life. Um, we're going to make some videos on that one. But uh, we're going to do something pretty cool with that one so that uh, there's indicators to make sure that this is all done correctly uh, before he makes a pass. So, again, charged, shoot, not charged. If you look at this from overhead, when I charge this one here, see how it gets full, and then I'm going to discharge this one. And it comes back down out of pressure. So, um, we still have 100 PSI up front for the dome pressure, or for the uh, for boost control and for the uh, uh, shifter and the chute handle, but I'm going to mechanically just launch the chute handle. So you step off to the side, and uh, this is what it looks like at, uh, at 200 PSI, and uh, hopefully it's awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> there you go. So now you come over here, and this right here is charged with 200 PSI. So these, these air valves, you throw the air valve, releases all the pressure, you can push that back in, and now you can repack the chute. So, um, yeah, that's your CO2 plumbing for your parachute. Uh, and obviously, before you repack the chute, throw your handle back in so that you can um, actually slide the, uh, slide the thing out. So, um, White safety basically told me that 100 PSI on the back of these cylinders just wasn't enough. And um, 200 will do it. So those cylinders are rated for 350 or 400 PSI, I believe. So we're nowhere near its maximum pressure. We could run it up if we want with that regulator to increase performance. But uh, I think that that's going to be um, more than adequate. So something cool Matt did, Matt and Brandon did, they came up with. When this is closed, uh, the key's all the way up in there. Huge pain in the ass, can't get to it. So they made a rod, welded a quick pin to it, and then uh, slotted the rod and slipped it over top of the key. And we used a little, they used a little clip. And uh, now made a little support right here on the bottom of the wing. So now when the trunk is closed, it won't open and then you do this and then of course when we park overnight we can pull this pull this take the key out and you can't get into the trunk so um, well, there you have it so plumbing up on uh, on co2 for your shoots see you